Hi everyone, so I'm, I'm here again to show you how to make the uh, easy face mask with three different sides. So this way you can cover the whole thing for your family. I have the fabric circle here that I straight from the public everybody. So here I have the 10 inch. I'm making 10 inch, 11 inches and 12 inches. So the 10 inches is basically it 14. 11 inches for regular uh, like ourselves and then the 12 for extra large so after you fold it in half you use the iron everybody the reason why I use iron because my fabric won't move too much when I cut so make sure that you may have to clip too when you cut so use the clip this clip work out very good Everything you see when I'm using a list on the description, everyone. Now I have the 10 inches right here. What I need to do is a big fold on the bottom and then two fold on the left. Yesterday I messed up with that. So there one inch from the bottom, big fold up on the side at one inch. So on the big fold here, this is another one inch. I'm going to measure in one inch. And then I want to make sure I'm going to make this the mark like that. From the side where the big fold went up here, you go on to find exactly this length that you can see that four and a half inches. So four and a half inches is right here. Four and a half. So you have to make move the, the, the ruler until you meet the side. Now you go on to draw this line. That's where you just have the four and a half. You go on to go down to that pointy right there. Now you go on to cut this out. I'm going to put the clip back in here so I won't go crazy. Now this is side 10. And then the one inch right here, just cut it. I always use an extra fabric for everything later on, so I save it. Face the right side to the right side. That for one, you're going to sew the curve. And this one, the, uh, the third piece, you're going to fold it in half and you get the center. You press with your fingernail, you go on to cut this in half, this for the field of pocket, you're going to cut it in half, and then you place the right side to the right side, you go on to bring it in one inch in half. one inch and half fold it iron so yeah. after you iron this this one right here after you iron this down you go on the shoulder line the curve side and same thing to this one so this one side is done this is side 10 this is size 11 and uh, 11, 12, 10, 11, and 12. So I'm doing the size 11, the standard size for us. So I have the two fabric circle right here that I just cut. And from tracing the pot lick, everyone, get the pot lick, put on the fabric, and trace around. If you don't have it, you get the uh, the place, paper place or something to trace. And some... Uh, the next video I'm going to show you, if you don't have the uh, potlick to change the circle, I will uh, spare some time in to show you how to make the circle from the uh, square fabric. And you go on to fold in half. I always use the iron to, to iron my um, uh, fabric when I fold. So it stayed out very nice for me. 
Now I'm going to fold again. This is size 11. So basically size 11, it fit us for regular size. So the fold is on the bottom, the two fold on the side. So now what I need to do when I need to take from the side here and the bottom here, I'm going to bring it in one inch. So one inch and then on the bottom side here, another one inch. I'm going to connect this just like this everyone and then from from the bottom the big fold here I'm going to measure go up to five inch in a quarter right there five inch in a quarter now I'm going to connect this slide out to here I'm going to cut this out. I show you this so you can have the face mat for your whole family. For all different size. Very easy, super quick. I do by hand, but if you use the same technique I'm showing you right here, you can do by the, uh, the sewing machine. Okay, save this for later use. I'm going to open it. When you cut into circle, when you cut into circle out, you will have four pieces. Four pieces of this. We only use three. Okay, so now what I need you to do, I need you to sew this line. This curl line. For the, set, for the um, third piece, this is the third one. We're going to cut it in half, fold it in the center, fold it like this, and then you cut it in half, just two pieces like this. So this, you're going to sew this curl side in, do two. The third piece, after you cut, you're going to sew this line, the curl side in. From the line that you cut right here, you're going to bring it in one and a half inches for me. So one and a half inches, you're going to fold it in. Don't cut it, just fold it in. Iron this light out. This piece for the filter pocket, everyone. And this is done for one set and I will show you how to sew it together. Next side, I 12. So you have two. This is extra large. You go on to fold it in half. And then you go on to iron it. After that, you go on to fold it again. After you fold again, I'm going to iron it. You go on to measure up. inches right here and then from the corner down here I bring it one inch and a quarter one inch and a quarter connect this two line connect this line Cut this. If you want, you can clip and you cut after. That's where the fabric won't move. And cut. Save this, cut this pointy out. You have one, this is the face mat. 
side 12 you go on to sew this curl side and now you go on to take another the other one right here put the fourth one away this is extra two circle you have an extra one one piece like this so now you go on to fold it in half you can either press with your finger to see the line right here cut that out this piece for the filter pocket now you're going to place this right side to the right side so this curl side this curl side you're going to sew it in this one right here you're going to bring it in one in and three fourth so now you're going to fold it press with your finger now. there now i'm going to show you how to do it okay so what you need to do for me at this time i'm going to try on this side i'm going to show you a little bit on the side 10. so you go on the shoulder line so this curl side everyone so from here all the way to here and then this face uh the filter pocket so this line too okay so everyone this is side 10 11 and 12. so before i do, i do the uh, video it's nice and quiet so i as soon as i start the video my neighbor cutting grass unbelievable so funny okay so i'm going to show you one at a time this is side 10 11 and 12 we'll do exactly the same but i'm just leave it on the side you already have all different size of folding and everything so after you sew on this slide i sew all this curl side everyone for all three sizes here i fold i sew this line you see only on the curve and then the filter pocket on this side so now after you sew you always have to go into the right side and press with your fingernail flat it out and press after you've done that you're going to do this go on this side on the right side and start pressing pressing it down to all of these the mass that you sew you always have to do that so it stay nice for you okay so now i'm going to put the filter pocket away this is side 10 that i'm working on i'm going to hold this like this everyone and then you're going to make sure everything lie up nicely you're going to get the iron you're going to iron this light out the light that you fold right there just like this this time you go on to um if you uh if you confuse you rewind the video you see how i do i iron this line so now i'm open this i can see the line that i iron is back right there i'm going to place the filter pocket where the fold where we sew that in the, between here it's going to meet the middle where the two lines that we sew it in here and the line that we just iron is back there. I'm going to place it right in there, in the middle. You see where that line that you iron? I'm going to place right in the middle. And I'm going to make sure everything stays straight in there, just like that. Now I'm going to fold this and I'm going to hold my hand right there where's the fold so I can have everything in here. You see how I wrap this and I'm going to close it. It's easy. It's just a little bit um, more work but it's worth it everyone. So now you go on, on, on the side and you make sure because the light that you iron that is the gut very simple 
and then you can wrap it right there. When you have it, you go on to get the clip and you go on to clip it down. Super easy, everyone. It just needs a little attention. And go on to this side. You also go on to do the same thing. See the line that you fold it right there? Put your index finger in here, then you can feel the other line of the field of pocket. You wrap it right there. That's how I hold it right there. And now I'm going to clip it with the clip. You're going to do that to the same thing to the other one. Now on this side, you're going to move all three together. We have, we're doing exactly the same like this, but because this line is closed, that's why we have to iron so we can get that iron, the line, it's for the guy that we can place the filter pocket in there. To sew the line, I need you to sew, even though this is the full line, but it's because we placed in the filter pocket right in there. Remember, this is the guy. That's why we clip it so to hold together. I need you to sew about a quarter of an inch all the way to here. On the ear side, don't sew on the ear side. Same thing to the other side. You're going to sew the whole thing and stop. Okay, so everyone, look at this. After I sew the line in, remember, even though there's a fold, but inside here, there's a field of pocket piece. So every line here, but the two end from the ear loop is open. So now I'm going to inside out. Remember, the people have asked me, how do you know what side that you can just inside out the part, the, the face mat that you, you can, uh, you know that it's the right side of the field of pocket. It did not matter. I show you how you can just, just pull one side of the face mat out just like this. Don't worry about the field of pocket. Now I'll show you what I mean by that. Sometimes when you pull it out and it inside out, you can just flip it over. It's done. Just symbol. Now I did it right, so I can. <laughs> sometimes I want to do it wrong, so I can show you. All right. Sometimes you open the filter. Uh, just just want to show you. Sometimes you inside out the face map, just like this. Okay. I just want to show you quick. All right, so sometimes when you're inside a face mat, it's gonna be like that, you'll be, you pan it. You're like, oh my God, I want this side to be in the right side. Don't worry, all you need to do is just hold this up, get your hand to the side of the, the, the face mat, pull it down, and inside out this, just like that. No problem, it's fixable, just like that. You don't need to do a thing. And now, so I'm done. I'm done with one. That's side 10. Now, after every time that you sew, you always have to press out like this out. Press the line out. Feel the pocket is on the side. That's why you're doing a little bit more uh, time to, to iron the line so you can place that in. A little work, but it's perfect, everybody. Now, when you're done pressing the line, you go on to get the fingernail and then you press together like this before you use the uh, the iron. So make sure you go on to pull, pull it down and then just press with your fingernail. Now, so when you're done, you go on to get the um, the iron. You go on to iron this down. Make sure when you iron, iron from the blood, the, the, the filter pocket side. Every time when you make face mat, you always have to fold it in half. And you go on to iron this middle line right here. So you can wear this all day and it stand up for you. And also, I just want to point out, when you make face mask for kids, I suggest you don't ask the, um, the no bridge for it. Because they keep 
place in their hand in there and it they pinch they pinch and they, they leave the space there okay so now everything is good this is the face mat and this is the filter pocket right here so handy on the side you don't need to go through here it's really hard you can place the filter in here if you're looking for the filter check in my description box i place everything in there for you to look at so now from here you're going to fold this side about a quarter of an inch you're going to do two times oh my goodness my kid and then you're going to place your needle underneath here hide it not and then you're going to sew it in you're going to do this to all the face mat uh ear side the same way you sew it in You do one like this. This side 10, it probably fit teenager, a kid from seven years old, farm and up. If you want to mix for uh, three years old to five you're going to go down with nine inches and then the at the fold will be warm three four of an inch and then the big line will be four and a half inch I will place that in my description and follow its exact direction uh, instruction Uh, you make the loop and you're going to do the same to the other side it's exact the same thing to to the um the big one and the medium one so this is side 10 the other one is side 11 you're going to do exact the same and side 12. with the other two sides the uh, 10 and 11 this is the 12 so do exactly the same iron so you can get the line at the fold after you get the line you do same old thing that I just did earlier with the other two get the filter pocket open this thing and you can see right here that is the line where you just iron and the light that you sew all these lights together place the light of the sew from the filter pocket right there hold on to it flip into this side get your finger and hold on to it so that's where you have it in when you get it in here you're going to get your the clip and you're going to clip it down do exactly the same thing get in this check the light that you iron ask the guy to place the filter pocket right on it and clipped it down why i have the elastic in my finger okay and same thing to here move it over do you see this line move the filter pocket right in that line and hold it right there so i have it right now i have everything in here i'm going to clip it same old stuff and i'm going to <coughs> before i go to this side i'm going to show you this is one inch and three and a half inch just i'm going to fold the side here a quarter of an inch fold it in half Press the line in the middle. You don't need to do much, just this. For this side, go back to here. You're going to bring everything up. The face mat, the filter pocket on the right side. Next to it, 
will be the no bridge pocket uh, so the right side and then the left piece of the face mat on top of it so now you have four things in here clip with the clip there now you're going to sew it in the same way you sew the other one okay so everyone is just the same as the um, other two this is the last one with the filter pocket right here do exact the same then we'll go on to iron this so there's no wrist pocket right here for the older people um you know ourselves parent so you fold it in half you can easily press with your fingernail from now and you fold another time fold it in one more time everybody you're going to slide the needle underneath here. Hide it. Hide the knot. And then start sewing the main. You're going to sew exactly the same way that you sew the, the ESI, everyone. Hopefully this, um, this video will help you a lot for doing, doing the same thing for the whole family. So you go into, if you see that I'm open one side here, I'm going to sew all the way here and to here, I'm going to close this and then I'm done. Okay, so we're done everybody. So this is the biggest side of all. And the no bridges pocket right here. Remember the last video I told you, if you haven't watched my video lately, you can go back and see um, how I fold. Well, you can do this. You get the about eight inches of the foil, eight inches by two and a half. Or it have to be a smaller, smaller than the side of the pocket, and then the shorter than this, so the side of the pocket. So you fold the foils many times until it get into the thickness, and then you place it in here. It works perfect. And remember when you finish with the face mat, always, always iron this line right there. A lot of us don't know how to cut the panty holes. This is the brand new. I got it from a Dollar Tree. Everybody go to Dollar Tree and get one. Very easy and it feels so soft in your ear. So you cut this this way up. So I'm using about one inch. I'm going to cut like this everyone. After you cut, you go and stretch this. So you need two of them. Very cheap and you buy in one, you can use that for until this crazy thing over. Can you imagine? People wear face mat at the beach and then over the summer it'll go on to look with the sun tan on your on your face. Eight inches everybody. Okay, so after you stretch you cut it in half and you get two of them eight inches. Perfect. So I'm going to place it in this holes um the the ear loop pocket right here and I'm going to tie the knot at the end. You're going to tie, you're going to bring it in one inch for each side. You gotta have longer than short. Because it's long, you can bring it in. This one, I'm not going to try it on because it's going to cover my whole head to stick. For men, women, the larger side. So this is A, but then you bring it into two because it's more stretchy than the elastic, also more comfortable. Please try this and spread it out for the people out there that complain about 
the ear hurt or something like that, please share this. Actually, this is my original idea. Okay, so pull. I get the two extra inch on each, one inch on each side, and so that is two. Now you're going to hide a knot inside there. So now I have the big one with the filter pocket so handy in here. Get a little work, but then you have a filter pocket right there, and then the no bridge at the same time. Beautiful, isn't it? Super awesome face mat. So this one. I'm using the regular elastic, everyone. So I'm going to use six and a half inch, and I need two. Two of half, to six and a half inch, everybody. For the 11 inches. So six and a half, and I need two. Hold it elastic and pull it to the other side. This time you go in because the elastic you go on the top. You can cut seven inches. It depends. If you make it for yourself, you're right there. You can try it on. Only when you make it for someone, you don't know. But the standard is about six and a half inch. Okay, and now you can hide that knot inside of the loop. I mean the pocket here. Then. You're going to do exactly the same to the other one. Okay, so now this is done for this is the second one. So pretty, everybody. Feel the pocket on the side and up to the ear side right here. Cover all the way near your ear. This is awesome. So that's you. That's side 11. Now side 10, we're going to do something a little bit different. Okay, so this one for for a little uh, for kid so you're going to do something different I have here the 17 inches of one elastic the reason why I'm doing this because kid lose stuff so you have to do something like this so if when they done they can pull it down and hang it in around their, their neck and when they you know like they eat they can pull it down and then when they finish, they can pull it up. That's way they don't lose it. Okay, so now, the last time when I, I do something and then I uh, confuse someone because I do so quick. So, you have to make sure there's two inch at, at the two end. So, this two end from here to here, that's two end from here to here. Don't stretch, just let it be. The best way you do to make it nicer, you can use this, um, the dressing needle. You can sew the line here. You can make a knot, but I suggest you not doing that. It doesn't look good. So sew a few times here and you're done. Same thing to the other side. You're going to do exactly the same. You're going to pull in through the, into the end right here. Take two inch, two inches for each side. Sold it in just like this. So hi everyone, I finished all uh, three sizes of the face mat. This one I suggest is for kids. It's easy for them to keep the face mat on and off. This one go behind the, the head. It's not gonna fit me, but I'll show you a little bit just like that. Okay, so you put the ears like this. like that it's a little snug for me a little tight around here around here but uh, because it's one size smaller this is size 10 in spot leg. when they want to eat easy peasy just pull this down eat and drink and then pull it back on simple very simple Okay, so I'm going to show you another one. This one going to fit me because this is size 11. This is outside, everybody. Feel the pocket. I like it this way on the side because it's, it's big and it's easy to put the filter in like this. A little work, but it's super easy to do. I put it on so you can see.
it fit me perfect. See this one right here? All the way on the top right there. And when you wear glasses, it's never a froth your, your closet. Your glasses stay clear like crystal all day long. You just have to place your glasses on top of the face mask right here. Because this, this Nobix part go all the way up here. You see, this is stay out when you talk. My mouth don't touch this at all. And my nose is not. This is the side 12 in potlick, everyone. With the Nobix pocket I have in. And uh, the filter pocket and everything. And the pantyhose loop it, it it's big i just replace it in here so you have an idea it's really big uh bigger than the other one it's very loose so if you're looking for a style for men or a x large for someone that you want to make for uh, this, is, this is a good style to make thank you for watching everybody please don't forget to like and subscribe and if you share the video with someone please ask someone to subscribe to our channel too thank you stay safe and take care